Konnichiwa, Hana desu. Right now we're going to go over some more Japanese lessons. And we're going to talk about nouns. And we're going to talk about how to conjoin nouns together. How to say and or are in Japanese. So let's say A and B in English is expressed like A to B in Japanese. Coffee and tea. Kohi to kocha. Kohi is coffee. Tea is kocha. Kohi to kocha. You and I. Anata, which means you. Watashi, I. Anata to watashi. So I have the question to you. Inu is dog and neko is cat. How would you say a dog and a cat? Inu. Toneko. Inu. Toneko. Now, there's a difference uh, between the position of and in Japanese and in English. So the and in English would be A, B, C, D, and E. In Japanese, notice the difference. A, to, B. C, D, E. So after the first two nouns, then the and is there, then to is there. A, to, B, C, D, E. An example would be in English, it would, it would sound like Bill, Charlie, George, and Tom. In Japanese, it's Biru, Tochari, Joji, Tomo. You hear that? Biru, Tochari, Joji, Tomo. Now, ya also means and, but it implies something a little extra. It implies etc. or among others. So, in other words, a, ya, b in Japanese means kind of like a, b, and some others. So, coffee, tea, etc. in English would sound like kohi, ya, kocha, coffee, tea, etc. A dog, a cat, etc. Inu ya neko. And there's A, R, B in English. So R, the R, the R word in English is A, ka, B in Japanese. So R is ka. So coffee or tea. Would you like coffee or tea with that? Kohi ka kocha. You R I. Anata ka watashi. A dog or a cat. Inu ka neko. So you notice those. Ka is meaning R. Ya is an, but it also implies etc. To is and, just like in English, but the position is different. Now we're going to go into a non modifier, an adjective. So a non-modifier is a word or a phrase that is used to describe or qualify a noun. So in Japanese, unlike English, a non-modifier is always placed before the noun. It's always before the noun. So it's similar to in English when you say a red pen. A red pen. A kai, which is red, pen. Pen in Japanese. A kai pen. Now, there's also, in English, the pen in my pocket. In my pocket would be the non-modifier, and pen would be the noun. Non-modifier, and pen would be the noun. So, in this instance, it's coming after in English. But in Japanese, like we said, it, it never does that. So, poketo no naka, inside my pocket, no pen, the pen, the pen inside my pocket. Poketo no naka no pen. Or what about the pen which I brought yesterday? The pen would be the noun, but it's the pen that you bought yesterday. It's always going to be before the noun. Kino kata pen. Kino, kino yesterday kata pen. Thank you. See you next time.